Hello everyone. This is Dress. So, in case you don't already know, Dress is a dwarf planet from the game Kerbal Space Program. If you don't know what a dwarf planet is, then here is a dictionary, I guess. And if you don't know what Kerbal Space Program is, then get out of here. Scram! Just kidding. Please don't leave me. Kerbal Space Program is a rocket building space exploration simulator. You can either play in sandbox where everything is free, science where you have infinite money but you need to unlock parts by exploring the solar system, and career where you need to do contracts for money and explore the solar system to unlock more advanced parts. So you might be asking, why are you going to dress? What's so special about that place? Well, that's the thing. There is nothing special about that place. The Kerbal Space Program community either hate Dress or ignore it completely. I myself have never gone to Dress, and I think it's about time I check that place out. So, how will this rocket function? Well, it needs rocket engines, that's for sure. If we look at this map, we can see that we need a total of 6670 Delta V to reach Dress. Um, what is Delta V? <sighs> I'll get someone else to explain it for you. May I introduce Sigmundur Garðarsson? Deltav morknown as chant in velocity, symbolised as vant pronounced deltavi, as used in spacecraft flake dynamics, is a measure. Thank you, Sigmundur, that was a great explanation. Now, let's go build the rocket. <laughs> Alright, to be honest, the rocket ain't that bad. Compared to a rocket, it looks like a rocket. It just looks uh, like a weird Falcon 9, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's not waste any more of your time. Let's get ready for launch. 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower clear. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. So yeah, maybe I should have enabled auto start before launching. Alright, let's do this again, but maybe a little bit more professionally. Wait, I forgot to plan a maneuver note. Um, I guess Jebediah and Bill will be waiting for... Yep, <laughs> one year and 80 days, alright. You guys can do it, stay in orbit, uh, don't I? Alright, and the maneuver note is done, or now we can at least create the maneuver note, because the planets are rightly aligned.
All right, everybody, we are here, finally. We are at Dress. So, as you can see, the planet is just gray. All right, we have the mothership in orbit. Now let's transfer Jebediah over to this little lander pod. Um, guys, I'm stuck. The engine doesn't seem to be attached to the, uh, the fuel tank. It's attached to something else. Um, all right, Azim had to have fixed the problem. Now, let's just start. Alright, and we are back at Dress, finally! Now, let's get down on the ground. And we have finally landed on the dwarf planet Dress. Alright, let's get out of here. Check this place out. Oh shit. Alright, we've planted the flag. Now let's get back home. Alright, last words before I leave. Um, this place sucks. Goodbye, dress. I hope I'll never see you again. Oh my god, I'm almost there. I can see Kirpin in the moon. Alright, now it's moment of truth. Let's get into this atmosphere. And splash down. We have finally landed back on Kurban. All right, what would we learn today? That's right. Never ever go to dress unless you want to torture yourself for three hours. Anyways, since this is a YouTube video, I am forced to tell you to like and subscribe. And if you do not, there will be consequences. Goodbye.